Welcome everyone to our prayer journey daily devotion. Today I want to talk about how important even the mention of your prayers really are as a Christian. You know, one day uh, about six months ago, I picked up my phone and I was looking at my messenger list. I was looking at my phone list. And, you know, I says, there's a lot of people in the I know I haven't seen in years. I'm going to start praying from them from my list. And you go through and you sometimes you don't know what to pray for. You know, so it was burdening me sometimes because all I would say is, Lord God, bless this particular person. Be with them. If they do not know the Lord, bring them to the Lord. And and that was the mention in the in the prayer for him. And then I kind of felt that, you know, maybe I'm just wasting my time because I could go and study the Bible more. But I wanted to make sure I was praying a lot, as I call this hot prayer journey. And I want to expand the prayer, but so much prayer to do in so little time. And then one day, a couple of months ago, I sat down and I started reading a lot of the openings to the different letters that Paul wrote. And here's what he says in these openings. Making mention of you in our prayers. He says that often in Ephesians 1.16. Making mention of you in our prayers. In 1 Thessalonians 1.2. Making mention of you in our prayers. Speaking of that church. I'm praying for you. We see this so many other places. And one thing he says that I wouldn't say because I'm afraid there's times like when I had COVID not too long ago, I didn't pray hardly for anybody. I wasn't that sick, but I was sick enough. And I only picked up my Bible once and I fell asleep in it. So, you know, there's times you're limited. But this is what Paul says in Philemon 1.4. I thank my God making mention of you always in my prayers. So, you know, I thought about the story of Joseph where he identified the dream the man had, and the man gets out of prison, and he says to the man, tell the, you know, give the Pharaoh a good word for me. And as you go on the story, it seems like that man may have never given a good word. But when time came, he was able to witness up to about James. But I wouldn't be surprised. I was thinking about it. Is it possible to the king, he said once in a while, you know, there's a guy, Joseph, that was in jail. He can interpret dreams. Well, he put in a good word for him because he had blessed him. You know, sometimes when you put a good word in, a lot of times, people get an idea and didn't realize that good word was put there by somebody else. Sometimes we, people even, you know, accidentally steal somebody else's idea, not meaning to, because they were telling about the idea many times. So here's the thing. As a Christian... Make mention of whoever you can that you want to get saved, that you want to see their life going, or just in general. They may be going through things in their life that you don't need to know about, but make mention to God. You know, I don't know how the prayers work, if he gets to them instantly or what he does, but I know this from the book of Revelation, the, the prayers are saved. And one day, all those prayers are going to go and they're going to be a sweet smell to the Lord if they're not already. So, Christian, make mention of me in your prayer and make mention of others. Because God does want you to hear and God does want you to do it, even if it seems so insignificant. Now, I pray you have a great week and that Jesus would increase as we decrease.